Hey everyone, welcome to Ladies Night. No, I'm not Angela Stribling, I'm Nina Brown. Angela Stribling is, Stribling is having a little bit of technical issues right now, we'll get it together. But as Angela always says, let me introduce my radio sisters with me tonight. First up, we have Autumn Joy Live. Hey, Nina Brown. Oh, this. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, hey. I thought you were Angela Stribling for a second. Hey, girl. Hey, 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 hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> and we also have our girl, Coca Lani. Come on through, Coca. Hey. Coca in the building. Hey, how's everybody doing? We good. are good. Now, on, in, in, um, I guess a disclaimer for Angela, she is visiting her mother up in Buffalo. That's what she's oh. saying. I'm not sure what the wife got with Buffalo. Here she is. There she is. Hi, ladies. Go off and come back again. So it can be fresh. You know what? <laughs> I love the impersonation there, Autumn. That was great, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know what? I do have to apologize for my Wi-Fi. So if I sound a little funny, are we doing all right? So far, yeah. so good? good? I like that background. Well, you know, we kind of did a little impromptu something. Something in the background. <laughs> you ladies look so beautiful tonight. Aw, thank you. Hey, first off, can we, good. can we just start by giving, um, a, you know, our prayers and love and positive vibes to Big Steve, um, Autumn Joy's dad, who's going through yes. some very personal. Autumn, I'll let you share, but just know that Big Steve, you are in our prayers. Yeah, thank you guys, and 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 Kokolani, thank you so so much for um, you know, helping me out on Friday. You know, my live squad, they. You know they love you so you know it was uh it was so good but yeah you know for people that don't know my dad um he he suffered a stroke on friday uh friday morning so it's, it's been it's been tough but we're we're plowing through we're we're getting through it we're you know bonding together um as a family and just you know praying and hoping for the best and and wow like shout out to my live squad you know it's so crazy you don't you don't really when you think of your listeners, um, you, you know, you just kind of think of them as listeners, but I've always treated my, my, my listeners, you know, my live squad as family. And I got to say they single-handedly that, that Monday when I came in, you know, the first show, they single-handedly helped me really just kind of get through. Um, I got so many messages. I was getting emails as I was talking, people were emailing me just that have been through similar situations and really just offering you know, just tangible advice on like what to do. And the biggest piece that I pulled away from was just keep doing what you do best. And, uh, you know, I, the being in the studio, being at WHUR is therapy and talking to people and making people laugh. And, you know, my mom got a radio, so she was able to put it in my dad's room. And so um, I was able to kind of give him a little shout out before I, uh, when I signed out yesterday. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's little things. Like I told you guys off off camera, I interviewed Earth, Wind and Fire today. I'm, I'm going to run that back on HUR once it's available. But they they shouted my dad out and just, you know, and he loves Earth, Wind and Fire. So, you know, it's it's I'm just trying to figure out ways in that I can can help him because he can still he can hear, you know, he can squeeze fingers, he can move his mouth. And, you know, so we're just we're just hoping for the best best. And thank God that he didn't require any surgery. So, you know, they were saying that's a good thing. Um, but I, I guess it's just, you know, we, we just found out he had cancer not even a month ago and then to deal with that too. So um, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, but, but you ladies, you know, seeing you all tonight being here, you know, I, it, it just, it just really makes my heart smile. And just to know that, and shout out to WHUR, ow, oh my gosh. Like, I mean, just completely supportive and, you know, just no questions asked, just jumped right in. and was like, Hey, whatever you need us to do. So, you know, thank you again, Kokolani, um, and, you know, Nina and, and Angela, you know, you guys reached out and I just, I really do appreciate it. So we love thank you. you. We love you. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I don't hear the popping anymore. Sounds good. <laughs> <She's not> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Angela, can you talk? Oh. Um, okay, maybe Angela. We can't hear you. Are you muted? I can uh you got it on mute, I think. 
I can sing a song. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's Angela. I hear you. My mic is muted, I think, because the sound is bad. So I'm going to let you ladies talk more. But we got to talk about messy Portia. Oh. Can you guys hear Why me? are we messy? <laughs> well, can we give a shout out before yeah. we get into the mess real quick? <laughs> give a shout out before we get into the mess real quick. To Felicia Rashad, I don't know if anybody heard the news. Um, go ahead, Autumn. I know she's probably part of your team. Go ahead. Oh, it, oh, Angela, dang! I wish we could hear you. Um, it's so funny because I got wind of it like a month ago, and so and I text Al. I said, "Al, did you hear Felicia Rashad? She's on campus interviewing." Ha ha ha! And I was like, "I'm gonna say something." So. <laughs> Of course, I hope I cracked the mic at 10 05. I'm just like, live squad, I got some exclusive tea. Y'all stay right here, you know. And so I'm just like talking about it. I put it in my Hollywood crunch. I'm like, I'm hearing that Felicia Rashad is on campus interviewing y'all. She about to be, she about to be, do, 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 do. And then a couple, I think maybe. Yeah. We got the season assist. All staff, don't talk about anything. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. That was my fault. That was your midday love, jumping the gun, being excited because I had some tea. And so when I saw the email, I was like, oh, sorry, y'all. I just, you know, but they did officially announce today that uh, that she is coming, coming to Howard, which is amazing. Oh and she's going to be the dean of the newly um, re-something re School of Fine Arts. I'm trying to find out. I have a lot of friends who are like, what, what's the newly part? I guess the whole staffing, but that's really great. And she is a soror. So shout out to all my sorors of Alpha, Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So she's going to be here holding it down. It's really great. Yeah. And, and then the other big news I, I mentioned, you, you, they announced today the 2021 Hall of Fame, was it Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah. Jay Z and Tina Turner. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jay Z and Tina Turner will be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, their inductees this year. What do you guys think about that? I think that's lit because don't they have to be voted in or something? Or what's the what's the requirements for it? Do you know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I know every year they have like a new class. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tina's long overdue. But yeah. I was. I was just going to say that, you know, especially Tina Turner, like, goodness gracious, she's been out since what Jesus was a baby. I feel like, you know, that she definitely should have been inducted a decade and a half ago. Like, right. what? you know, but I do think that they are. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think like Biggie um, and someone else just got inducted as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's it, it's kind of mind boggling when you hear in 2021, these people that we have no, grown to love are just now, you it know, getting in and it's like well dang you know i guess jay-z maybe jay-z is still kind of early but right you know turner like come right because i'm like <laughs> she stopped making music a minute ago and stopped going on tour a minute ago okay right. I, know, I know we're gonna get into the mess <laughs> i know we're gonna get into the mess but the, did you hear about wendy williams getting into um her wax figure right did you see yeah that? yeah really nice she's messy in is she the first talk well i know oprah's in there right I, be ah, I believe Oprah's in there. I know yeah, Beyonce's you know, in there. Beyonce is in Beyonce there. for sure. <laughs> okay, go um, ahead with the mess. Set it up. Y'all watch that show, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Are you guys a regular? Mm, I don't know. Nina, are you a regular? Oh, I, 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 I watch enough of it. I mean, I, I, I know them personally, so I watch it a lot. But yeah, I mean, let's talk about it. Let's like, stop dancing around and let's get into it. We only have 20 more minutes. Oh, who is this Nina Brown tonight? Like, <laughs> no, I don't have a ponytail. I'm a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then, well, then Nina, you set it up. Then you said, you know, what's what's? Well, I mean, the gist of it is, is that you know, Fallon and Portia were our castmates on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Fallon was married to Simon. Yes, they. Huh? Still is the divorce hasn't been finalized. They're still going through it. Well, we talked to Simon yesterday oh. and he said that the settlement agreement will be signed this week. Okay. They filed for a divorce in January. All of the money was exchanged. The terms, it's like basically uncontested. Like they agreed on everything. There's no real litigation. And it's a matter in divorce. Once you agree on everything, you write it up and the judge signs off on it. And it's that simple. So that's pretty much how their divorce went. Um, and, you know, he said it'll be signed off on. So he happens to already be engaged to Portia. 
um, after 30 days of dating. But I mean, at the end of the day, like, I, I, I think it's funny that you guys are saying she's messy because what makes her messy? I'm just curious. I think, well, I think, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go, you go. Well, I think, you know, and I don't watch it all the time, but I did watch when she first got on. But from what I'm hearing, the optics, because I guess two days ago when it came out, the optics was like, this is the definition of if you don't give a F. We don't give a F. And it was a picture of her with Simon. I didn't know what the backstory was. I was like, well, what is this? There's, that's Portia. I recognize Portia. And someone says, well, you know, that new castmate, Phelan, was just introduced to the show. And they were over at their mansion when they were married, Simon. And they were married. And they were in the pool together. And I guess, you know, things are always taped earlier right so what people a year saw, ago right so what people saw, but the fact that the divorce was filed in january and you know i saw phelan's interview she did a recent interview um with someone and she was basically saying how she had always been friends with portia because their husbands dennis well i guess dennis her baby father and Simon were friends because they're all business owners. So that's how they knew each other through their husbands. <clears throat> so I'm like, friends. <laughs> friends, but this for a girl code. I mean, I don't know. It's not a girl code if you're not really friends with somebody. Like, honestly, they're not friends. Like, yes, they've done scenes together. Understand how reality TV works. They tell you what they want to see and how they want the storyline to play out. And they put y'all together. And then they start rolling tape and hope for some drama. Well, Fayla like, was saying that she knew Portia prior to being on the show because their husbands were friends. So I'm like thinking if their husbands were friends. And then I guess, I know if some of the people in the comments have seen it, Portia was like, well, we're going to be co-parenting together. I'm in love, live life. You know, we see what the optics looks like, but we're just happy. So I'm happy that they found love. I'm just like, if they can get married in 30 yeah, yeah. days, you know, people dating for a year and two years and no ring, you know, what's going on. But go ahead. Yeah, it's funny. Somebody in the comments said Alicia Keys set the tone. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I just think love is love at the end of the day. I, for me, for me, Nina, um, you know, because I know these are personal friends of yours. I, I actually said this on my show. Like, I like Portia. Portia's like, she's my favorite housewife. Like, I feel like Portia, Por Portia, Portia is like the most relatable to me like the closest to me that i feel like okay i could hang with a porsche so i do think that the the, the way that it kind of rolled out I, it gave it gave off messy you know but i also think from a person who's done reality tv i get what you're saying nina like it the story producers are setting this up they're doing this for something like they're yeah. obvious there's something else that's coming down the pike that they're setting us up for. Portia is going to probably make an announcement towards the end of this week, early next week about a show or something that she's yeah, doing. She got, she already got, um, it was in my prep today. She got a three, um, episode, um, spinoff or some sort of, yeah. I mean, li I'm literally in my Aren't they doing the reunion for people who were watching the real housewives of Atlanta. They told me that the reunion is a three part series and that's live. So, is that live that Angela would know about reunions? Those are live, so it's not pre recorded. So Angela's the reunion queen over here. The real housewives of it of Potomac connect right here. Oh man, Angela. Oh, she's frozen. Dang. Well, I will say this. I will I uh again, you know, I just think that I I, I don't think it's real. I just I just feel like it's too rushed. And I also think that, you know, it's for, it's obviously for some sort of publicity a situation. Monetary gain. Yeah. I think it's for like quick monetary gain, quick cash grab, just something to kind of, like I said, bring attention to something, a bigger picture. Um, because I just don't, I don't see Portia really being with this dude. But then again, her baby daddy, they 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 have very similar body types. I was going to say, they look just alike. Clearly they also so had very right. similar bank accounts, right? I'm just keeping and it real. I don't that. know. Yeah, I, mean, I don't always believe just because what they post on Instagram is reflection of their. Are you saying they didn't have bank accounts like that? I'm yeah, saying but... just don't believe that what you see on Instagram is a no, direct. I, I didn't see that on Instagram. I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, making a comment about the bank accounts and both of them being businessmen, very well off. Yeah, I'm, I think yeah, Atlanta's Atlanta's home of the scammers, and I'm not. Oh, scammers, but a lot of people finesse okay. their bank accounts don't match what they post or what yeah. they say they have i mean trust and believe a lot of people are struggling a lot of those cars are rented a lot of that money is borrowed and a lot of those 
Jets don't move. <laughs> you know, we are, we learned from Bow Wow. We learned from Bow Wow. <laughs> right. We already saw. But I will say this: the girl code thing. I get the whole they're not friends. Me personally, I would not go to Nina Brown's ex and be like. Well, no, we're friends. I'm just right. saying, like, I just, like, sorry, 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 girl. My, my bad, girl. My bad. Too close home. My bad. My bad. But I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't, even if it was a in passing, it's, you know, somebody I just met. I just personally, like, I'm cool. There's too many fish in the sea. There's too many other people out there that I can attach and align myself with as opposed to this person. But like you said, Kokolani, to your point, if his bank account is where it's at, then that's obviously what Portia wants. And let's not forget the other chick that came out and was posting videos in his car and was like, oh, that's crazy because we were we've been dating for the last four to five months. Yeah, there's another girl that came out that was posting videos in his car. He's recording her. I mean, they pulled the receipts out on him, honey. So that's why I'm just like, it's giving staged. It's giving promotion for something else. I'm not all the way here for it, so. But you know what? I will say I am a love is love person. Mm -hmm. So I think even if they were real, even if, you know, and I hope it's real, even if it was real, I just think just waiting a little longer and keeping it under wraps until the divorce was final, everything was final. Then afterwards, come out and say, okay, because, you know, the ex-wife, I guess, I don't know their whole situation. And like you said, Amina, they've already did the um, personal property settlement and they did all that stuff. Um, but, you know, when I went to her page, just looking at what she wrote, she was like, you know, thanking everybody for prayers. Thank you for your positive uplifting. Because, you know, divorce is messy in any situation. So I think you know, she he said on his page that she cheated. Yeah, he so did. There, that's what I'm saying. There's so many layers to this and I don't think anyone's a victim. I think they're all grown ass adults and they're going to do what they want. And I'm just going to wait and see how it plays out. And hopefully, you know, everyone deserves love. And if you find it, you find it. I think 30 days is too quick. That's my only issue, that's my only issue with this whole thing. I actually don't even think she broke girl code if they weren't friends. I really oh don't. God. The, the oh industry God. is a very small circle of people in Atlanta and everyone runs around everyone and everyone dates. That's just how that circle works. Like it's a part of like what they do. Dating and husband. Dating and husband is a different thing. That's what I'm thinking. And I understand what you're saying. They may not have been friends as in bestie, call me girl, what you doing tonight? But acquaintances been over your house. You've been over my house. We eat dinner together. You know, there's, there's, like you said, there's levels to friends. So I For understand. Sure. Just, they were for not sure. friends. She was not on speed dial calling her for a cookout. But yeah, but that's the thing. Like <laughs> I, I had a friend who did that to me. We weren't like friends, but she had been over my house. She had, my not this son, my twenty year old. She had held him as a baby, and then she ended up dating my son's father. And I was, I was offended by it. But she didn't look at me as her friend. And I was like, but you've been over my house and you keep keyed with me. And it bothered me. But again, there's a difference. Like she didn't look at me as her friend. And so she had no problem dating my ex. And I was like, I mean, I took it up with him because I was like, that's tacky. But right. so I, I understand what you're saying. But like, she was like, she didn't see it that way. So you're no, probably like, I would never. Yeah, I would never. never. Because Portia did make a statement and she says, me and Phelan are not friends. She, she put, put that in there. She put that, Honey, she not, covered so everything she needed to cover in that Instagram post that the divorce, like she had nothing to do with it. He had filed before her. Baby, she covered any every little thing. And I'm not mad at that. Jay-Z said people only care about your relationship three times. When you get together, when you have a child, and when you break up. So whatever you got to go through, go through it and let them get over it. And if it's love, we'll see, right? We will see. Time will tell if it's true love. That ain't true love, girl. The girl, oh, his, 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 ex, his ex joint, listen, his ex joint cheated because like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like it was clear she was probably with him just for the money and had her little boo thing on the side. Like yes, he's giving kids. like, like he's giving, six kids. yeah, he's giving like Very dipped cool. chocolate turtle vibes. Like he gives me chocolate turtle vibes. Like. Come on, Mr. Turtle. That, you know was Dennis. that literally was Dennis. Yeah, like, like you look alike. She has a type. Be related. She has a type. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's like some people say that money makes people look better. Is that I don't know. 
Um, well, money, money helps the situation. Money does help me wake up in the morning, roll like over like, he, like yeah, he's not as ugly as I thought. He gave me $1,500 last night. Yeah, he's not that ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like that, money definitely helps the situation. It, it gives you beer goggles, if you will. So yeah, I mean, when I was in my younger days, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I had a couple, you know, sugar daddies, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, but it, it's just fun. It's something to do, you know? And I do think that Portia, she probably, she just has a lifestyle that she has to uphold. And even though she has her own she's money. Her own. Yeah, that's yeah. Like. She, she, has her own. she has her own money, but he probably has more. And she probably wants to spend his money for a little I while. I say, it's a difference when you get to spend somebody else's. And do, But wait, people are saying that they think she's pregnant. That's what I'm thinking, because he already has, I think, is it six or eight kids? How many is it? I have no he idea. He has like six or eight kids. Um, Girl, Mr. Turbo, I only saw like four on his Instagram. Okay, so so. I think it's five. So I, I mean, Mr. Mr. Turtle is out here giving out babies. Look, here's the thing. I, I you know. Have it, my baby it, be a billionaire. What's the <laughs> <laughs> have a baby by me baby be a millionaire um but it's so funny because it's like if she's pregnant congratulations you think and that might be the reason why she's rushed i mean that's i'm looking 30 days you but can't you look at let's think about portia's character portia is a look at my body i look good that outfit that she was wearing on mother's day was very much giving i'm hiding something it was giving um hot something. I gotta it's go like, watch it on demand. Oh girl, it's giving. It's like frilly. <laughs> it's like very frilly. Very like I don't want nobody to see my stomach as I'm moving around. Like that's what it's giving. So, so I that's do thirty day baby, right? No, that baby, that baby, that baby been up in there. But but did y'all see the? Did y'all see the? <laughs> girl, here go my here go my lash. Okay, Angela Stribling talking about magnetic lashes. But did y'all see the footage of? Um, the, oh crap, I lost my thought. Dag nabbit. Oh, I lost what I was going to say. Okay. Somebody, somebody take over. I forgot what I was going to say. Daniel Bradford Riley says friends and acquaintances should not date your serious ex child's mom, dad, husband, wife, long-term boo, <laughs> etc. I agree. I just think it's off limits. I don't care if we yeah. shook hands at a function and I said, Hey, if I know that that's somebody it's, for me personally, I'm like, nah, I'm cool. Like, I just, I don't want that. Like I, I want, I want my man to be somebody that nobody that I'm affiliated with knows. Now, if it comes out later on down the line, you like, know, that he's affiliated with high school. What? Yeah. Okay. Like, Oh snap girl, middle school. Okay, girl. I'll let you know. Like, cool. But if it's, if it's a situation where I met the person and I knew, okay, I'm y'all. And I knew then I'm, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> this is giving ghetto. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sitting up here talking about Porsche and I'm, I can't even get my lashes on. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I, I just, uh, I, I do, I do wish them all nothing but the best. And I'm just going to wait to see what kind of show is coming out of this. Cause it's a show. Can't wait to see if there's a baby and a few, cause you know, that's something you can't just hide forever. It only exactly. Baby, so. Well, you know, she did say in her post, you know, Dennis and what's his name? Smiley. Um, What's the, what's the new guy's name? The, the oh, uh, Dennis Simon. 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 Smiley. Smiley. <laughs> Smiley. I was like, what? Smiley. And Dennis and Simon, mm -hmm. are have a, we're going to be great co-parents together. So I think she was talking about her baby that she already has. Mm -hmm. It could have been foreshadowing the baby. In yeah. The well, really quickly, let's segue for a quick second. What do y'all think about this Tristan Thompson, Chloe Kardashian, the Sydney um, Chase girl lawyered up? She has Gloria Allred. We all know Gloria Allred is not okay. Okay, this is oh, Sydney. Tell me who Sydney. So okay, so it came out again that Tristan, of course, cheated on Chloe again, and this girl, like Tristan, clearly has a type. If you've seen his baby mama, she oh. like the girls that he's cheated on Chloe with look just like they all have a very similar shape, similar look, all of that. And are it looks black? nothing are like all Chloe. Black? Huh? All black? No, they're not black. They're other. But my thing is this, the girl, so the girl came out and, and, and said, yeah, me and Tristan, we, we had a situation. Tristan is calling her a liar, sent 
first a deceased and sis, 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 what is it? Sis and the deceased? Sis, you know what I'm talking about. Cease and desist. Right. He sent that to her. Now she's like, oh, you want to tell people I'm lying? Well, I got receipts. And now she's lawyered up with Gloria Allred. What? Well, you know, Gloria Allred, she's representing the girls that are accusing T.I. and Tiny. She represented uh, Black she, China. Tristan, uh, uh, lying on that, having an affair? Well, she's suing Tristan yeah. for like defamation of character, if you will, like, you know, all of that. So my thing is, and then Chloe, we're like, okay, Chloe, girl, what you going to do? And she's posting motivational memes on her page. Like, sis, like, what are you doing? Like, why? But I just feel like with this situation, I don't think Chloe's going to leave him. I don't think she's going to leave him. I think that she's going to stay. I think that the. And he's going to keep cheating. And it's, yeah. and it's okay. And she has accepted it. She cheated on him. She cheated with him when he was with his baby's mother. So cheating is in his DNA. Cheating is like his tone of voice. Mm -hmm. When he says good morning, she's got to accept it. He cheated. I mean, <laughs> not that he can't change, but you can't expect him to do something that he's never done. He was never faithful to anyone. So why yeah. would he change up his stripes for you? you mm. know? Exactly. Mm, 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 mm. Well, so, for, oh, go ahead. Oh, go oh. ahead. No. So th apparently, like Doc Austin in the comments, thank you, Lawan. He put a comment. How come all these fine women can't keep a man from cheating on them? J Lo, Halle Berry, Nina Brown, K. I think you mean Chloe K. Oh. First of all, y'all in the same, you know what? First of all, you don't know my life, so let's not speak on it. Um, and my situation, but like Lawan said, secondly. If a man cheats, I'm not. I, I'm definitely not going to take ownership of someone else's faults. Mm. Like I can't speak on why a man cheats. That's something for you to ask that man. But what Nina Brown will not tolerate is a man disrespecting me. Period. Ever. So I hope that answers your question. But I, I have no idea like where that came from. So. <laughs> yeah, Luan said, and your yeah, she says no disrespect, but um, Nita Brown, a woman cannot stop a man from cheating, no matter what. If he really wants to cheat, he's going to do it. It just so happens that Nita Brown is not going to put up with all. from any man. She knows how to hit the reset button with the quickness. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. And, and I will tell you, I'm a strong woman. I've always been that. I was raised by my father to be that and had an incredible an example of what a man should be. And, you know, my presence is very strong. And a lot of men. They say they like that. And then when you get with them, then they're intimidated by that or they can't figure out who they are because I understand my purpose and my and I understand my worth. And it's and 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 that happens a lot of the times, you know, where you're too much for one man. And that's not my problem. That's yours. Like yeah. I'm not gonna dumb it down or dim my shine. I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, it's so successful in my career if I dimmed it down for a man. So I will never make an excuse for um, a man's shortcomings or a man's insecurities because of who I am as a woman. That's not my fault. Mm. You better come up with that good, that good word, my sis. Mm. I'm, so raising, me have. I'm raising someone's husband and someone's That's future. right. And I want them to see what a strong woman looks like so they understand how to be a strong woman for that strong, for uh, be a strong man for that strong woman. And I will take nothing less. Woo! That girl good. That girl is good. <laughs> to treat me right. <laughs> this is someone's husband, okay? And someone's future father. You need to understand what a real woman looks like. Yeah. I love how he plays with your ear. That is so adorable. That's like my favorite part of you guys. <laughs> Doc said, no disrespect. I was just having fun. Well, it's disrespectful, but it's really? okay. not, I don't take offense. I'll be coming back with the, re <laughs> with the rewind. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to take it that hard, Nina. <laughs> well, really quickly, guys, um, May, what is it? June 11th, we, we are 100%. And then June, what is it? I'm sorry, May 20, is it May 21st? Wait, wait who is that? Who is that? <laughs> who is that? Is that? Is that? Is that? <laughs> who is that? Mayday. It's great and pushing. That's a really old headshot of mine. I got to change that. Stop it, Burberry. Stop it. Wait, me and Kokolani were so lost. <laughs> We were like, who was that? Like, wait a second. That's me. Wait, you're back. Oh, you know how to switch it on and off? Oh my gosh, Nina. That is. I just. 
that's gonna be me on Friday autumn when I get my weave and I'm like super excited and happy about it. So can you please post that somewhere on social media? Oh like my God, sure. That was like a headshot from like 2000 and like eight, maybe. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. But guys, we're getting ready to be open full capacity. So everything is about to be wide open June 11th. I think like nationwide, like everything is back to 100%. Are you guys excited? Are y'all ready for that? Like Muriel Basel said June 11th for the DC federal government, right? No, no, June 11th for everything. Oh, wow. A hundred percent. May, I think it's like May 21st is yeah. like when some gyms, space. Yeah. Like gyms and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So 100%. Are you guys ready for that? Well, Atlanta, y'all been. <laughs> I am. No, but I'm ready for it because I want to meet like our DMV listeners and like have like events and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, we're so connected to our listeners and we haven't had a chance to do any station events. So I'm super excited. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But not but that's in that capacity only. Like I'm you ain't gonna see me in the club. You'll see Frank <laughs> in the club, but Nina Brown ain't gonna be in nobody's club. You'll you'll come you'll come out if I invite you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on a flyer like Nina Brown. <laughs> For you, I'd do anything, but <laughs> there. Well, all right, ladies, it's me, Angela Stribling. I'm gonna go ahead and uh <laughs> sign off for you all. Yes. Yeah. Don't yeah, forget so. to watch her on uh, listen to her. She has a Something Pillow Talk, right? Yes, her Thursday, Thursday, W-H-U-R, at home. I don't know who her guest is going to be yet, but make sure you listen to Pillow Talk. I am on Pillow Talk with Angela. Angela Stribley. Are you doing Pillow Talk with Angela? Huh? You're doing Pillow Talk with Angela? I am Angela. She's I'm Angela right now. Angela. <laughs> you were Angela opening. I'm Angela oh, yeah, closing. Okay. Got it. Thank I was you. Like, I got to watch. You're doing pillow talk. Let me get back in character. <clears throat> All right, ladies. Uh, this has been a successful so ladies' night. You gotta go to each one. Go to Nina and ask her. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and close out with Nina and her knee hive. <laughs> hey y'all. Catch me every weekday from three to seven on the Frank Ski Show, where I will stay cutting up and standing for what I believe in. Okay. You can also do de- you can also hit me on Instagram at Panina Brown. And on Twitter at Nina Brown. Say yeah. bye, Bray Bray. Say good night. Say bye bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bye, y'all. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> Nina Brown. Are, are you serious? Are you serious? Angela, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Angela. Let's go to Kokalani. <laughs> Hello. Thanks, Angela. Hey, don't forget, um, you can catch me this Saturday. I'll be on from 12 to 5, and we will be doing another fabulous 4 p.m. face-off. And this Saturday, it's going to be the one-hit wonder. So think of all your favorite songs from artists, and they just have one song, and you never heard them. But that song comes on the radio, and you're like, that is my jam. Well, that's what we're doing this Saturday, so make sure you tune in and vote for your favorite one hit wonder of all time. And don't forget, you can always follow me on social media. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kokalani. That's C-O-K-A-L-A-N-I. Bye-bye. Now let's throw it to Autumn to see what Autumn has coming up. Angela, before you go, let's throw it to oh, Autumn. Wait, and Angela? Oh, well, no, you're really Autumn. Quick. You're, you're Autumn. My, my number, my, my favorite one hit wonder is Vanilla Ice. Okay, now I'm Autumn Joy. Hey, guys. All right. No longer Angela Stribling. All right, you guys. <laughs> catch your midday love uh, Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Shout out to my live squad. Again, thank you, everybody that has been um, sending me so much support so uh, support, and so many encouraging messages uh, concerning my dad. But I love you guys. And um, yeah. All right. Good night. Bye. <laughs>